Hello, good morning, and welcome. My name is Liz, and today we will be talking about 11 amazing TV shows you've never even heard of. It looks like we're gonna continue spending a lot of time indoors. Yay, indoors! You finished all the TV shows that everybody recommended, Tiger King, you rewatched Avatar Last Airbender, but now you're wanting to dig into some fine, exquisite, rare jewels. Little did you know that I am a curateur of rare and exquisite television souls. So I'm giving you some of my fine, rare, exquisite picks. Exquipix. We're starting with Borderline. This show is the mousy cousin of the UK office. It's another spoof documentary, but it's set at the North End Airport where there's just no air traffic and nothing happens. It's better. Yeah, Damn. I noticed that. Yeah. Just sit here running your family. Ah, uh, yeah. I have my dad's thickness. It's funny. Watch it. Next up is Godless. It's the Wild West, but there's actually women, so. And they get to talk. Woo! There is a town called La Belle, the beautiful, that is only women, because all of the men have died in mines or the war. I don't remember. I'm bad luck. We have that in common, then. Next up is the time in between. It's about a dressmaker in Madrid who gets caught up in a life of espionage. They like hide secrets in clothes. Ugh! Ugh! It's exciting and romantic and dangerous. It's good. Next up is a show called Hilda, about a little blue-haired girl who like sees monsters and trolls and stuff, and then she has to move to the city. It's really, really cute. She's got a cute little beret. She's coming for my brand, but I'll let her. Hilda, you can have it. So much we don't know. Such is the life of an adventure. It's really, really cute and has a great message about how like we fit in with our environment. Next up is Dirk Gently's Holistic Detective Agency. It's Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy Stepbrother. Both are based on books by Douglas Adams and are just a little weird. It's an offbeat sci-fi detectives TV show. Give me the dog. Our killer. Give us the her or we'll throw the dog off the bridge. I'm bluffing, but if he shoots her, throw the dog off the bridge. Very weird and offbeat and interesting, which means that I absolutely loved it. Next up is a show called An Idiot Abroad, produced by Stephen Merchant and Ricky Gervais. Basically, they make their friend Carl, who hates to go anywhere, travel around the entire world. He's very plain and very British and is very unimpressed by the wonders of the world. He gets to the top of Machu Picchu and he's like, what's all this thing? He has like a whole suitcase dedicated to crisps that he brings so he doesn't have to eat new foods. You know, you can see it for miles. It goes on for miles over the hills and everything. But so does the M6. Next up is Catch-22. It's definitely a darker comedy. It's a George Clooney produced miniseries following bombardiers in World War II. There's one bombardier named Yossarian and he keeps having to fly more missions because they keep raising the number and all of his friends die. Um, and it's hilarious. Shaney's had his balls blown off. I want to see. On the complete opposite end of the spectrum is a show called Animal Airport. This is the number one top feel-good television show. Uh, the show follows all of the thousands of animals that go through the Heathrow Airport every day. Heathrow and what? Manually restrain your man's neck, and then and then we'll put him into the box in there. <laughs> I like that laugh. <laughs> From dogs to turtles to leopards and scorpions, it's great. Next up is Taskmaster. It's a British game show where five comedians compete to win prizes that they brought. <laughs> they win points by completing very weird and specific tasks. Pineapple. Conceal this pineapple on your person. If you don't have any streaming services, this is the one to go with because it's free on YouTube. Next up is Tuca and Birdie. It's like if Broad City and Bojack Horseman had a baby. 
It's voiced by two of the funniest women alive, Tiffany Haddish and Ali Wong. It's hilarious and real and a definite recommendation for any woman in their 20s who feels a little lost. Who could that be? I'm an adult woman. I deserve to be treated like a person and not an object. Also, Aquafina is in it and she has the Midas touch. Last, but in no way the least on my list, is Deadbeat. I think the show is so smart and dumb and just funny. I usually pitch it as it's a stoner, but he can talk to ghosts. The show follows Kevin Pacliogu, Pacli, Pacliogu, Paciologlu, Pacli, Pacli, Paciologlu. He just goes by Pac. The show follows Pac as he has to dig out his skills as a medium in order to have enough money to buy weed. Father Daddy did not leave you. Father Daddy would never leave us. Father Daddy loves us. This show has some of the funniest jokes that have ever been made. So watch out, Mom. You have competition. Not my mom is a joke, but she made me and I'm a joke. Does that come across? I highly suggest watching any or all of these TV shows. Try something new instead of re-watching Parks and Rec for the fourth time. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments what series you love that no one's ever seen and I'll watch it. Also, let me know if you know one of these shows and you hate it. That's fun. As always, be sure to like and subscribe and tune in next week for a new video. Bye! Uh, monkey. Monkey.